Welcome back to CCFC. Today, we are going to be making sure that you're subscribed. Hmm? Hmm? Look, look down, look down a bit. Okay, and then hit subscribe and then come back to me. Good. Now, today, we're going to be looking at the uh, and, and rating some of the fake football kits that have been released into the wild before the officials have been announced. And everyone's like, uh, is that real? Or is that the work of China? Ho, ho, ho. What are they up to over there? I don't know. They make all the real stuff, but also all the fake stuff. I can't quite get my head around it. First up, we have this Juve Times Gucci fake shirt. Now, I'll tell you what. Yeah, I like it. I'm all for this. I love the Gucci pattern. I think the colours they've all thrown in there are excellent. This is... A pretty phenomenal fake. A very well designed fake. I'm I'm all for this. Okay. I'm actually I'm gonna give this one a nine. Okay, and these ratings, by the way, don't mean like it's the nine in this isn't the same as a nine in an actual proper kit. Okay, I'm taking into consideration that this is made in an illegal manner. But I'm gonna give this a nine. I think this is a corking fake kit. Next up we have another UV. Gucci fake collab. Once again, it's a little bit Christmassy, but once again, I like it. You know, the badges and, and Adidas badge aren't particularly legible, which is clearly the most obvious uh, tell that it, it is fake. The Jeep badge looks a bit off as well. But all in all, I think this would be a poor pitch kit, but a pre-match kit. I'm saying, I'm saying this sells out. If it's pre-match. That's all I'm saying. I'm going to give this one a 7.5. Get in touch, Gucci, with Juve. Not, I don't know why I'm facilitating this collab. But I'm sure they'll listen because it's this guy. Bayern Munchen. Now, I see what the, uh, the fake designers have gone for here. Okay. But it's become like a rugby kit. I can't see in any planet where Adidas would have the stripes here, but also immediately next to it coming across like that. I can't see that happening ever. A, a white and grey kit as well. No, I think a grayscale kit is... What's more boring than the colour grey? Think about it. It also makes me feel a bit uneasy that the, the T in the T-Mobile sponsor is like right up here touching the rest of the graphic i understand they've thrown in like oh look the middle of the the buying badge the, the bavarian flag oh but no this is a this is a poor one really poor i don't know if you if you're gonna come up with a fake design why would you put gray as a main color really throw this in a completely different color get rid of the extra adidas lines here put them down the side and bosh well, i'll move the t-mobile down a little bit and bosh all right Bob's your uncle, or Jürgen's your aunt, or whatever they the equivalent would be in German. I'm going to give this fake by Munich one a, I think it's a 0 0.1, 0 0.12. I think it stinks, mate. Absolutely fucking whiff. Next up, we have... Ooh! Okay. Okay. Well, you can tell it's fake by the positioning of the badge and the Adidas in... The, the squared stripes. Oh, I don't know. I feel uneasy about this one. The concept is there. The idea is there. But in execution, I feel like you realise it is poor. Yeah, it's not working for me. It's not working for me. And I don't know how to sort of describe why apart from that. I think it's ugly. I think it's, I think it's damn ugly, girl. I'm going to give this AC Milan one. Oh, it's fallen short. I'm going to give it a 3.2. <laughs> oh, we're going back, back in time now to maybe before World War II happened. This is a Liverpool Warrior kit, a fake Warrior kit. Now, the spacing is absolutely hilarious. It's so far down. It's below the nipple region. <laughs> that is crazy. It's <laughs> what I love about this one is how many liver birds can we fit into one kit? Massive one in the middle. 
one in the badge, which the badge looks fake itself. That sort of doesn't even look like the right badge. And then another little one up here. And then two little lines, which make me feel like on the back of the shirt, there is also a massive double image of the liver bird. Uh, or liver bird, whatever you want to bloody call it. Ultimately though, would it have been the worst warrior kit? I don't think it would have, which is alarming to every designer that worked at Warrior. I'm going to give this one. Now, this is based on thinking about all the other Warrior level kits. I'm giving this as, I'm giving it for a, a seven. Okay. I think this should have been a Liverpool kit and I think this would have been so funny. So, so funny. Oh, can someone make this again and release it? Ooh, okay. Now, recently, if you haven't seen it, I, I redesigned some every single Tottenham kit to try and make a good one. Now, someone has clearly had a go here in Beijing or Istanbul. And um, I don't like their effort. I don't like it. I don't like it. They've got the intent of doing like a half and half kit, but it's not very Spurs, is it? And especially, like the easiest tell that you can tell a Spurs home kit is fake is that it doesn't have a massive red AIA. They are never, ever giving that up, okay? That's clearly in the contract. So this, sadly, is a massive fake. And I'm not sure they would have a... Well, would they have a different colour Tottenham badge and Nike? I'm not so sure. Maybe. But the sleeves just don't match. The sleeves just don't match the rest of it. And the collar, I'm pretty, I'm pretty sure that's an Adidas collar. I'm almost 100% certain that is. So it's not even a Nike kit anyway. I'm going to give this one, I'll give it a four. They tried, okay? They gave it a go, and it's a very difficult task. Ooh, okay, okay. Now, you can tell this is fake because it's how wide, and the PSG badge is is in a colour scheme that I'm a little bit scared of. But apart from that, it's I'm sort of like sort of what they're going for. Okay, it feels like a bit of like a streetwear thing, you know? I could I could sort of I could sort of back this if executed properly. Yeah, just mainly a tie-dye t-shirt. I'm gonna give this one. I'm giving this an 8.9. I sort of like how weird and funky it is, you know? Fair play, pretend PSG designer. I'm on board with this one. Oh, Real Madrid. Now there's a massive dragon on this one, I believe, if I look closely. Yep. But why is it on a kit? All right, they're not. Then no one, no one thinks of Real Madrid and goes, "Oh yeah, the Dragon Boys." No one thinks that. So why would you do it? This is for a Chinese market, okay? Now there's nothing wrong with the Chinese market. I'm not saying there is anything wrong with the Chinese market. Are you saying there's something wrong with the Chinese market? There's nothing wrong with the Chinese market. There's something wrong with Chinese foreign policy. <laughs> this one doesn't work for me. I'm sort of here for the colour scheme, okay? And it's not the most abhorrent one we've seen today. I'm going to give it a, a 6.8, okay? It's not the worst. It feels like a special edition Chinese New Year kit that they would release. And I wouldn't be like, wow, that looks fake if Real Madrid officially released this one for Chinese New Year. So, yeah, I'm going to give it a 6.8. 6, 6 Ooh, an Arsenal one. Now, this must have been leaked. Was it last season or season before where they had the, the the marble kit, which just looked like, you know, a murder kit? And uh, this must be sort of based off that rumour. I'm for it. I don't like the badge being filled in, not maybe just being like all whited out or gold or not the navy behind it. Maybe just the gold or something. But yeah, I'm, I'm all for it. This is great. I think this would sell like bloody hot cakes. Maybe a hot potato. No, they don't sell. Do who sells a hot potato? Everyone does. They're called chips. <laughs> Boy, I, I amaze myself sometimes just with my genius. And the person who made this was clearly also a genius. I'm gonna give it a eight point nine five. Well done. Well done. Oh. Gee, I hope they didn't do this one as well. What is this? This is violent. Disgustingly violent. Now, I can I can get behind the faint 
pattern inside, the little shiny stripes inside the t-shirt. I think that works. And it's all going pretty normally. And then they've decided, oh yeah, uh, United have, sometimes they have like really dark navy blue as they're like away kit. Why don't we incorporate that into the home kit? And now United shirts usually look like dog shit anyway, mainly due to the badge involved. But this one, this one takes poo to another level. This is absolutely vile. I, what is going on? Just put blue, it would still wouldn't look great anyway, uh, but just put blue, Why? what is this weird sort of square line interconnected pattern going on there? It's a big no from me, um, but I wish it was real. Right, I wish there was an even worse kit for United to wear. So I'm going to give this one a 12, and I think they should make it next year. I think it looks absolutely great. Um, well done, and it represents United just as faithfully as ever. Oh, now we move over to the other side of Manchester, the best side of Manchester. And I remember this one being leaked. Holy moly, it's bad. Is it Based on a Puma template, maybe from that season, maybe. I feel like I, I recall the sort of rag, raglan, is that the word? It, that's the word that comes to mind, sort of stripe across the middle, that pattern from someone's kit, maybe. But my lord, this is abysmal. Just the black around the badge just doesn't make, that's not, that just isn't, that's, that's not the, that's not the badge. The blue is so dark, it almost looks like it has that Fulham outside stitching trim to it. The disconnect sleeves along with this horrible pyjama pattern across the middle. And then Etty had a black, it would be white, wouldn't it, surely? With the rest of it also being white. Doesn't really make sense to me. The elements combined, it's just bullshit. Terrible flake, terrible flake. Oh God, I'm in the mood for an ice cream now that I've said that. Oh, I've misspoke. And now I want to gobble down a, a very unhealthy ice cream. That is criminal behaviour from my own mind there. Idiot, shut up. Eat an apple. I'm going to give this one a naught point naught. Actually, I'll give it a naught point three. Because at least someone's trying to fake a Man City badge. And I've just noticed in the badge that the Manchester and City bit is just not central in the circle. Wow, that is, that's a honking fake. Now, finally, we have, oh, okay, okay. This fake Chelsea kit, wow. So it's meant to be like a full uh, iridescent number. I imagine someone's made this based on seeing the iridescent badge. That Nike seem to be doing quite a lot now, a little iridescent number. And I'm, I'm reasonably fond of uh, some of the shiny, shiny, things introduced into the kit so I'm I'm sort of fond of that yet this feels like it goes a step too far it feels like you've accidentally set fire to like sulfur or something that burns a funny color like a like an orphanage that's awful that is I'm gonna move on from that one mind you if the orphanage was burning I would throw this into the burning orphanage Jesus Christ it, it is awful it's really bad i think the night template they've used for it is bad itself i don't think it works with the whole thing that's going on but it's sort of combined where it's just clearly just a flipped graphic that they've put on the front it feels mm, it looks like a like an elaborate or abstract drawing of a womb well not the womb just the hole the opening hole i didn't think this is where a kit video would end up okay talking about women's holes but it has and now i've got a hole in the brain I, there is no good word okay there is actually no good word okay a women's lady bits that's that's what it, it right a psychedelic women's lady oh just digging my digging a deeper hole here oh no no i didn't mean that i'm gonna give this kit a 6.2 i feel like they've given it a proper go okay they've tried something new and you should be afraid to try new things Unless it's scary looking food. <laughs> That's me. Um, I've been your boy, Karen. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Don't forget to hit subscribe once again. And I will see you in the next one. Sayonara, biatch.